Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I, I'm, I'm already laughing because, first of all, how y'all doing? Ciao. Welcome to the Less D experience, and it's going to be an experience on today. I, I, okay, um, okay, I'm going to give, hey, Brandon. <laughs> uh, Brandon, and, and you feel free. I don't want you get in trouble with the missus, though, but, um, hey, Devin, I don't want you guys getting in trouble with these questions. Okay, so I have a lot of questions that have been inboxed to me, um, texted to me, and some guys had so much to say that they've been calling me. That's why I'm not on like five minutes early like I usually do because I've been trying to take everybody's call. Hi, Otis. How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Okay, first of all, to the ladies who may watch this later, okay, because a lot of people keep the conversation going when it's off and you guys put comments in the comment section. Even when you go back and look at this videos, ladies, my fellow divas, my lovely, 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 lovely ladies, be respectful because we need to be nice, we need to be honest and answer these questions for these men because they are very passionate about wanting some things asked and they want them honestly asked, I mean answered, and we, they don't want to be disrespected. We're not going to disrespect anyone. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, to express their experiences and their feelings without being judged, laughed at, or scoffed at. All right, ladies? We're going to behave today, and we're going to play well in the sandbox. And if I know a couple of answers, I mean, I, I don't care. I'll answer it if I got an answer for it. If I don't have an answer, you ladies are going to have to help me out. Hey, Charles and Barry, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, guys, also, shout out where you're calling from, or calling, uh, listening from. Hey, Carla. Carla, you got to help me out. Hope you're not at work, because I don't know all the answers, Carla. So, girls, stay on here, because so far, ain't no women up here. Oh, Lord, who's up here? Uh, nope. All right, Carla, it's just me and you. So, we're going to start off right away. No, no shenanigans. All right, I have my old trusty, dusty notebook like it's blues clues <laughs> it was so many questions that hey how you doing i had to pull out the book i had to pull out the book and write it down i am doing fine so far it depends on what these men do and how they act carla don't you leave me up here by myself glenn how you doing these men are popping up on here okay for those who didn't get an opportunity to text me or send me their questions beforehand of course you can put it over there in the comment section Hopefully. Oh, am I? I'm about to murder your name. Is it Sarfraz? Is it Umar? Sarfraz Umar? Am I saying that right? I'm destroying his name, but he's from Byran. Mousy, thank God, another female. Mousy, don't you go nowhere. So Mousy and Carla is up here for team female to help me out. Hey, Ricardo, how you doing? Okay, the first question. Okay. Oh, God. All right. The first question, um, one of the questions is, why do women say they want a strong man, but then complains that he is too controlling? Okay. Mousy, look. Hey, hey Tommy, I'm going to need some ladies to help me because my opinion may not be everybody else's opinion, but I, 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 I love a strong man control me. <laughs> Oh, deity, just kidding. But uh, <laughs> all right, Mousy, help me out. Um, the question is, why do women say they want a strong man, but then complains that he is too controlling, Mousy? So uh, type really quick, Mousy. So while Mousy is typing, and Carla hopefully is typing me and not leaving me out here to the dogs by myself. Um, so while you ladies are typing and trying to ask the question, answer the questions, I'm going to answer for me. Now I'm a little weird. I'm not, I should have been born a dude because I, I don't think like regular women. Oh, oh shut up, Devin. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, what? <laughs> Carla said they, because they crazy is H-E-L-L. -L. Girl, I'm feeling you because I, I don't know what you call up, but I want to be, I mean, I love a man's man's child. Control me. Tell me what I want for dinner. <laughs> and you know, let me, let me clear it up all the, 
women get on here and blah, blah, blah. Do not text me complaining. Should be up here. But I say that because as long as I can remember, I've been in charge. Making way for the bills or, or making a way for this or deciding that. And, and, and I've had to be in control all the time, making decisions all the time, building by myself, building this. I mean, I'm tired. I mean, I would love to, you know, be weak or play the damsel in distress. And, you know, just pretend I don't know something, even if I do. But, you know, to lay up on somebody's big burly chest and cry about something. I don't have the luxury to cry and be weak because it got to go. I mean, yes, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm tired. Yes, I'm this and this and that. But I got to keep it moving. Things got to get done. Things got to get done. So if I had somebody, I could look, baby, I've had a rough day. You know, and I'm cuddled up in the rain up on his chest. I, I got to be I'll take care of it. And he really takes care of it. Not take care of me, but take care of it, the situation. Man, are you kidding me? Oh, yes. Oh, a deal is here. Hey, Adil, I've been calling your name out for weeks. Adil, tell them where you're from. I'll screw it up. All right, Carla is saying, ain't nothing wrong with a man taking charge. Men should be the head and in charge. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Otis is saying, right? That's the type of man you want until you say, in my best less D imitation, I do what I want. Did you just come at me? Otis just come at oh! Otis, when I tell you I do what I want, Otis, you're my business partner. You're, like, you're not my man. Whatever, Otis. But I guess he's trying to drive the point home, I guess, that women say that. Me and Carla is saying that. But when it comes down to the get down, we don't really want it. But I do. I do. You know, now I'm not going to have nobody lead me off a cliff, blind leading the deaf, crazy living lead the cripple. No. Uh, you got to be knowing what you're doing. Hence a man. Not breath and bridges or somebody with the genitalia, you know. But a man, man, a man is going to be knowledgeable. He's going to be wise. He's going to be compassionate. He's going to be caring about your well-being and his children's well-being. And he's going to properly lead. And what he don't know, he'll find out so he can properly lead you. So therefore, I wouldn't tell him I do what I want. You know, if he's doing the right thing, not my way, there's a difference than doing it my way and uh, the right thing. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes things can be the right way and it don't be the woman's way either. You get what I'm saying? So let's see what Barry is saying up here. Okay, hold on. The questions are coming. All right, all right, all right. Blah, 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 blah. Barry G is from the UK. Hey, Barry. Barry is saying there's a big difference between being strong and controlling. A strong man will be your rock and your soulmate. A controller is a man who is jealous, manipulative, and downright abusive. So, abusive. so there is a big difference. Thank you, Barry. Let me like that real quick. Like. Otis. Very good. <laughs> okay, Adil is um, here. He's chiming in from India, Mumbai. Hi to India and Adil. Wonderful composer, by the way. Off the chain. Oh, wonderful. Shameless plug. Okay. Um, okay, Jack is saying... Jack is asking another question. I'm not even get to half the ones I wrote, wrote down. Jack is asking the question, why when women say that they want a better man, they drive them away with junk from all of their past bed partners and ex whatever. Mousy, help me out. Um, oh, come on, Carla. You hear, you hear, Jack got a question. Well, I can only... I am not going to complete a <laughs> Jack said he's not going to compete with the ghost, which is your past bed partners, past ex whatevers and things like that. Um, a deal. Um, the topic is um, candid, very cheeky questions, very candid questions that men want to know about women. And we're being honest on here and there's no holes barred. And they've given it to me already. And I only got two women up here helping me. Really, dude? Okay. So Jack is saying, you know, in other words, it's not fair to them, ladies. You know, everybody who've done us wrong or done us good <laughs> or whatever for the, the current guy to have to deal with his mess or what he's done to you and things like that. Hence, we need therapy, ladies. <laughs> and it doesn't be like, like professional therapy, but we need to talk. 
and work things out within ourselves or things that have been done to us before we hop in another relationship or hop in somebody else's bed or hop in somebody's heart. We need to deal with us and what has been done to us so that wouldn't happen, okay? So thanks for that, Jack. All right, Crate Myrtle, which is Devin, is saying, look, it is, uh, okay. Gotcha. He's basically saying they can love you right. They can love your past your pain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, a deal is saying a woman wants to be taken care of and loved. And this is not asking for more or asking for much. And which is true. So you guys can keep chiming in on that question. I gotta get to the next question. Okay. The question um number two on my on my um notes here. Hey, Lucido. Um, this guy wanted to know, does size matter? I, I didn't write it. I, I, I promised them I will ask the actual question. Um, ask it, not answer it. <laughs> ask it. This guy, and, um, if he's on here, I'll let him tell you guys who he is if he wants to be known, but I'm not going to say his name. Um, you know, uh, a, a deal is saying, nope, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, and Barry G is saying, but then again, women are controlling too. He's talking about the, uh, the prior question. And I do agree with that. Um, sometimes nothing that you do for them is ever good enough because they're comparing their lives with others. Yes, that's true. And we can stop looking at the reality show mess and TMZ and something room and all this other stuff, your neighbor, what your sisters have or your cousins or your girlfriends have, stop doing that. Concentrate on what's going on in your household, your relationship. And if you guys are building together, it shouldn't matter what nobody else have. You know, because every ho household's dynamic is different. Not just the makeup of it, of it, like how many kids, blah, 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 whether you have a grandma stand there, a mother-in-law. No, but every household is different. Everybody's financial situation is different. Everybody's mental and emotional state and their bonding and all that is different. So stop, ladies. Stop comparing um, your man, your relationship, your sex life to everybody else's. You know, do what you need to do for you and yours. So Barry G, thank you for that. And uh, Adil is saying no to the second question, does size matter? Adil is saying uh the size doesn't matter but the quality matters mm. let me get myself together i'm just to keep my face straight you're right on it ideal because you know he is mm -hmm, he's on it mousy what do you think about that carol or carla where she at carol's gone carla's not talking so it's me and you mousy okay mousy i want you to uh talk about whether or not size matters I just want to be loved. Love me. I mean, I don't care what you're working with. If you sincere, I don't. It is not. I don't. I don't. I, you know, I'm not getting to no details or whatever else. You know, I mean, I don't. And we shouldn't be throwing hot dogs in the hallway anyway. <laughs> so I, I, I agree with the deal. I think quality and how it's done matters it's not the size the whole remember the old adage is not the size of the ship but the motion of the ocean or something like that i don't know i probably said that all wrong um barry g is saying quality over quantity all day long and mousy is also saying that no not at all size does not matter carla what is she saying Carla is saying, um, she right, quality does matter. You can be a <laughs> you can be a four. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to keep it together, but Carla is a mess. I, I Carla is something else. I <laughs> so long as you're taking care. So that's the answer to that question to the guy who wrote that in okay so i'm gonna go down hey regis how you doing and a deal is saying it's passionate love that works yes 
Yes, yes. And Mousy is saying, at my age, I don't need anything to be hurting me. <laughs> Ladies, you go, you girls are acting up. We're supposed to be being mature today. I love it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, this is saying, fellas, we can't answer the size question. Of course not. Whatever. All right, number three. Okay. Number three, this guy wanted to know, and if he wants to reveal himself on here, he can. Why do women choose the bad boy instead of the good guy and then expect the good guy to still be waiting there in the wings when he jack her up and after the fact? Oh, somebody bitter. Just kidding. Um, Nicole, hey, we got another female on here to help us. Hey, Ben Green. Ciao. Again, the question is, why do women choose the bad boy over the good boy? And then after he mess her up, dog her, abuse her, and jack her all up, she still expects the good boy, good guy, good man, to be there waiting in the wings this whole time. Not having another girlfriend, not having a wife, not having no kids, not going to was like expecting him to be there waiting for her while she realized she's dealing with the bad boy. Why do women do that? I think that's insane. And I'm a woman. <laughs> I really do. And all this huffing and puffing going on behind the scenes, I really do think that's insane. Now, I get it. You guys can help me out. Okay. Oh, God, thank God Judy's on here. So we got four women helping me out here to answer these questions. Yes. Um, I think it's very unfair if you have two potential guys that's interested in you, very interested in you, and you choose the bad guy, the one who roughs you up and this and this and that over the good guy. Now, I can tell you why. I don't think it's right, but I can tell you why, because I've heard a lot of women discuss it. Um, and Adil said, well, you made the bad choice. Why complain then? You got what you asked for. But I can tell you guys why. And I'm going to take your time and tell you really quickly. Because with bad boys, I've been told that they like the way they have sex. They like the way they, they handle them. And, and, and they feel like he's a man's man, strong, and take charge, and blah, 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 and just the... um not knowing what he's going to do next and, and, and the spontaneity and the, and the mystery and all of that. They want all this kind of crap. Like they're looking at an old movie grease or something until he smack you upside your head or cheat on you constantly, rob your bank account, whatever he wants to do, you know, beat a kid, you know? And then when you get tired, when you mature, when you mature and realize that this is for the birds, you're looking for that person you've placed in the friend zone or you done left all together, you're trying to find them on Facebook, you're trying to find them on Twitter, you're trying to find them on Instagram, you're asking your old neighborhood people about them and all of that, you expect them to be there because now you're mature and you realize not all in the mystery and, and the spontaneity and people throwing you around and slapping you around and giving you good rough sex, all that. We watch too much TV. Don't be slamming me all against walls and tearing up furniture, knocking over lamps, kissing. That's Hollywood stuff, man, who does that? Anyway, I'm done. You know, so a deal is right. You get what you asked for. But I was just telling you guys why some women do it. It's not right. And I've heard people, uh, women say that the good boys are boring. Uh, you know, but see, but that's on you. Because if you think somebody is boring, take his good qualities and things like that. And then spice up the sex life. Well, you be spontaneous. I have a conversation with him like, baby, our stuff is kind of stale or whatever. Let's do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's on you to spice it up, but pick the good guy, all right? Okay, it's so much. Okay. All these questions, all right. Carla's saying, you get women not banned looking for the bad guy, a woman what want a good man. Mm. Yeah, some women do, Carla, but some of them crazy, you know. Here you go. Jack is saying, yep, thugs get the good woman and they love it. That's not true. I mean, I mean, uh, that's just my opinion. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, Jack. I mean, I, I guess it could go either way. You know, some thugs do get the good women and then they use them, abuse them, then they jacked and it's just a cycle of crazy. Um... Adil said, you said it right. When you mature, that's when you want a sober guy who understands and takes care of you. That's true. And then you all used up and battered folk kids, jacked up, you know, get that man left. <laughs> Let me stop. 
All right, hey, Claudine, bonjour. I think she's calling from Paris. What part of France you in, Claudine? Straight now, you just put it in later. Barry is saying, but remember, but bad boys don't last either. They end up in jail or less than a man because you, res you responded. To God, this stuff is going so fast. Okay, no, I'm reading two of them. Okay, Barry is saying, but remember, bad boys don't last they either end up in prison or hurting you or dead. That's true. Jack is saying, I've never been to jail or hit a woman, but to some women, you are less than a man because you respond to her and her needs. Again, that goes to an immature woman who don't really know what life's all about and what she needs, man. <laughs> and, okay, we'll get to some more questions. Okay. Oh, all right, it's like, okay. Why do... <laughs> Why do women get, get mad enough to argue and ruin a whole day or a whole wonderful night because the toilet seat is left up? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? Hey, Janice, we got somebody to help us out with these questions, guys. Oh, it's 421 already? <sighs> okay, we got about nine minutes to get some more of these questions in real quick. You guys just put the answers in the comment section and things like that, but I'm going to try to get everybody's questions in. Okay, ladies, why do y'all trip so bad when the toilet seat is left up? You guys are having a beautiful day, beautiful night, could have won the lottery, anything could be going on, but if a man leave a toilet seat up, you trip, total bipolar. Why is that? <laughs> and Adil said, because that's disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? Hey, Michael, how you doing? So we'll go to the next question so you guys can put the answers in there about the toilet seat being up, okay? And this, this person, actually, he's from Chicago. I don't know if he's still up here, but his question was, why are so women so D-A-M-N mean? We get tired of coming home to that S-H-I bleep. Stop being so mother bleeping mean. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I yeah, Miles, I know we need an hour, but I have to leave at 4.30 now. I have to go other place. Oh. Okay, uh, Carla's saying that the toilet seat thing is they should be respectful, um, but men are nasty. That's what Carla said. Men are nasty. That's what, that's what Carla said, y'all. <laughs> Barry G says, put a sign on the toilet seat. And so he said, you don't like it? Put a sign on the toilet seat then. Put the seat down. Y'all cutting up today. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? I mean, I, you know, there are some mean women. There are some women I don't even want to talk to or deal with. They're just hateful. hateful really, even, you probably need the bag blown out. That's what they need. I, I don't know. <laughs> but just mean. Women, stop being so mean and hateful for no reason. Just hateful. He deal with society, you know, work a crazy boss people on the street they get in the elevator they people clinching their purse they get dogged out everywhere they go they don't want to come home to you went 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 nagging nitpicking complaining ain't nothing right ain't nothing wrong or just just whatever stop being so hateful you know have that house clean yeah especially if you don't work i'm gonna get a lot of flack for this if you don't work buy a deal thank you for stopping in um, hi, Elwood. Um, if you don't work and your man works, he gets up six o'clock in the morning. He's coming home at 6 p.m. Okay. You're there all day with the children. He should not, I repeat, he should not come home to a dirty house, dirty children, no food cook, your hair nappy or not combed or in rollers. You know, it should not be, you know, and I'm not talking about two people who work because if both of you work, whoever gets home first needs to start to di start the dinner or order out. And if you, you know, take something out the night before, put something in a crock pot or whatever you need to do, you know, that's, you know, 50, 50, you know, right there. But if you're home, why? I mean, come on, men, they get sick of coming home to arguing and fussing and fighting. Ain't nothing done. They don't want to come home, relax in his favorite chair you know, dinner, he can smell the onions. He needs to know when he drive up on that street, he smell onions. Oh, that's my baby cooking. Yes. You know, you smelling good, the house smelling like onions and peppers and all that stuff. And you sit there with everything on you clean. 
ready to wrap them chocolate eggs around him, he'll come home every day. Yeah. I need to, I need to get him in. But anyway, yeah, that will happen to it. Okay, Barry G is I think some people bring home their trials and frustrations home and it causes tension in the household. That's why you, I said you need about an hour or two to wind down. They don't want to come home to Bill Stone in their face and this and this and that. Let them, let them get a breather. Brush their frustration off, okay? And Jack is saying a home is supposed to be a safe place, right? Yes. All right. The next question is, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why can women tell us that we smell or stink, but we can't tell her when she's not too fresh? Without it being World War Three, um, we got five minutes. We got so many more questions. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, guys, share, 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 share this video because what I'm gonna do, I'm really gonna do a uh, continuation Tuesday on this. So you can get your friends to chime in if you have more questions and things like that. So we can get more women on here as well to help answer these questions. Because it's just me and four of the women. We don't have the answer to everybody. Um, Jack is saying, I will be sounding a sounding board, but I won't be a whipping post. Cringe. You need an offering. I ain't give you no money. But anyway, <laughs> answer the question, ladies. Why do we so quickly... Tell a man, God, you stink. You musty. Get off of me. Or whatever. Don't kiss me. Your breath stink. What you been eating at work? Onions? You stink. Or you got musty. Go clean your... <laughs> but if they, if that role is turned around and they go, baby, you know, when I hit it last night, you won't do fresh. <laughs> you won't do fresh. Now, I told y'all, do not have your children looking at my videos and stuff like that because it's for grown folk with grown, raw, real situations. So we, we get a little candid on here. Okay, Judy is saying, I have a theory about why good girls go after bad boys. Oftentimes the good girl has grown up in a very conservative environment and there is something very, ah, oh, you're going so fast. Hey, Hugh, how you doing? Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. You guys are going so fast, okay. And there is something very fascinating and dangerous about being in the company of a bad boy. Yes, I understand what you're saying there. Barry G is saying, well, if you smell fresh, she wouldn't get the chance to say that. That's true, Barry, but I guess their point is, you know, if she can say I stink, why can't I say she stink? And I have a pending divorce on my hands. <laughs> Okay. Judy said, I wish you would write these questions out and post them on your wall so that way we can all answer it and then discuss. I am going to do that, Judy. When I get home this evening, I am going to post them. Um, should I post them on the wall or in the comment section? Which would be better, guys? Because the comments will go, 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 go. What I'll do is maybe, KJ, post them on the a post with numbers. Not production team, you reps no name. All right. Um, Carla is saying, my man better tell me if something not right and vice versa. Exactly. Okay, guys, it is 428. I have enjoyed myself, and I want you guys to, um, you know, please share and hashtag the Lefty Experience um, live talk show. Um, and then share that, the hashtag as well. I, I, I It's so much. And I wanted this platform to be a place where men can come and vent, learn about us, become better men, better lovers, better husbands, better friends, better listeners, and also for us to do the same. I wanted this to be an equal opportunity forum so we can help each other, so we can love one another, yes, and enjoy each other instead of fighting and fussing and acting crazy all the time. Um, <laughs> Barry, these are very interesting topics. Oh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make a decision with my production team after I leave off here to see whether or not I'm going to try to post all of the questions I have so far on somewhere, either in the comments or on the post, whatever we um, find is, is more suitable for everyone to see. And we're going to number them so you guys can answer them and share them. And so we can just learn how to love each other. Stop being so mean and hateful and try to be more understanding. Yes. And give our men a break. 
let them express themselves and talk. And let's answer their questions, ladies. You know, we already claim they don't communicate and talk because we act like they should have ESP in. Just kidding. We don't read our minds. Hey, Tracy, girl, go back and look at the video. Woo. You know, so I got to go. It's 4.30. I'm trying to be on time now. I want you guys to just share, 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 you know, and also any questions, men, that you have, please post them and we're going to answer them on Tuesday. Yes, we're trying to do better, guys. We're trying to do better. <laughs>